take a look at this beautiful view. This is the Norngoro Crater. It is beautiful, just stunning. I loved every moment. Oh, this is so cool. My beautiful little brother. You know what I'm Oh, you want to hop in there? That's cool. Beautiful sister, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Residential Pocahontas. Hey, y'all, auntie. Kenya? Yeah, how do you like Tanzania? Tanzania is a very good country. See? I love Welcome. it. Welcome. Welcome, yes. We are in Ngorongoro View. Okay. The crater. Okay. Actually, we're supposed to call the uh, caldera, not the crater. Caldera. Caribu Sana. Caldera. 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 Okay, Asante, thank you, man. That's Caribu all I want to So I live here. Thank you for accepting me. Mm -hmm. Great. So, Caribu Sana. Masai. 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 Asante. Asante. Mm -hmm. So these are the Masai villages on the Masai land that they share with the wildlife. So it's understandable how people can get abducted by the animals, but they've been sharing this land for generations. Welcome, welcome to my channel. As you guys seen, we were at the Gorongoro, right? That's how you say it? Gorongoro. Gorongoro, just ignore the end. So it's silent. <laughs> well, welcome to my channel, Traveling Tony 90. Um, we're gonna talk about the Messiah. Encountered the Maasai, very cool. I see them here in Dar es Salaam all the time, but at the uh, safari place, Gorongoro, it was more interactive. I actually uh, spoke to them. You know, they're, they're used to dealing with uh, tourists and people coming through, so they explained a lot. Even the tour guide explained a lot to me about the Maasai that I did not know. And I see them every day here in Dar es Salaam very interesting uh, I really love the Maasai very nice people very loving people like the Sakuma they're very nice one of my favorite tribes of people to interact with uh, the Maasai and the Sakuma I, I know those tribes well I know the Sakuma obviously very well but I'm learning about the Maasai I like the warrior aspect of it uh, they don't really practice a lot of the old ways anymore I learned but their old ways are pretty interesting so Lucy, uh, what did you know about the Maasai before we went to Gorongoro? Mm, they are cool, they are like very nice people, you can even uh, ask for help, you know, they are mm -hmm. everywhere. They are everywhere. Yeah, so like I know the Maasai, mm -hmm. most of people here, mm -hmm. they seem like the Maasai are very, very cool. Mm -hmm. And their job specifically is like uh, watchmen. You know? Watchmen and security, yeah, security. they do security, and that's because they're warriors, so it makes sense that they do. You'll see them with the big blade hill and stuff like that. Uh, they're not, it's not, they're cool. It looks intimidating, but they're, they're very approachable, very easy to talk to. What else did you teach me about the Maasai? Mm, they're very cool, and mm -hmm. I don't know if they still practice circumcision. Circumcision. Circumcision for but, the women. Yeah. That, that was a long time ago. A long time ago. Since it's their culture and mm -hmm. they have their traditional ways, mm -hmm. I think they're still doing it. I think they probably still do it to the Maasai lands. Yeah. If you're a Maasai born here, maybe not. I think it depends if you're in a traditional family or not. Same like with the Sakuma, like uh, the, the Dori and all the other stuff. It, 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 probably depends if your family is traditional if you have both parents and they practice the traditions because we got to see the Maasai lands the village and everything it was very cool the crater is so beautiful enjoyed my time there very very much um, I would like to go back to Manya what no Gorongoro but it's all connected it's all connected it's like just within a stone's throw of each other definitely enjoyed my time there it, crazy story while we were there lions actually killed two Maasai children because they shared the land so uh, they were telling us like the day before a couple lions came and snatched up some kids so I asked what is the process for that what is the process 
for finding those lions and dealing with them because obviously after they attack uh, children once they know how easy it is to kill us so they're gonna come back and try it again so the tour guide told me that the uh, park rangers go looking for the lions that committed the act and they eliminate them but I don't know how they determine which lions do it or not but it's just interesting definitely enjoyed my time there I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video with the clips my time there in uh, Gorongoro, Arusha, Kilimanjaro, everything. Uh, stay, stay tuned for the next video coming soon. Thank you. So here we have a pride of lions just here relaxing, enjoying the sun. I'm not sure which group of lions committed the heinous act of eating the children, but we've seen quite a few lions. Uh, there's also another pair of lions that were mating and I guess they're just playing around. Now, it's quite a few lions, like I said. The safari was cool. I definitely enjoyed this one better than the Manyara. The Gorongoro safari is definitely way better than Manyara.